All right, if you're here with me, you're trying to figure out how to add, quickly add a bunch of alt text and have it right uh, to your images in the library, in the media um, section of WordPress. And the reason we do it is obviously for SEO or for, and or probably more importantly for accessibility so that uh, people that are using screen readers because they're visually impaired are able to click on an image and actually know what it's about. So the plugin I'm using is not, it has at this point, moment has not been and i'm not affiliated with them anyway but at this moment has not been downloaded a ton but it worked really well for me so i highly recommend it it's called image alt text and you can it's uh in the uh free wordpress uh repository so you can download that or by put out by rs studios and essentially what uh, i wanted to do here is show you a couple of things how i'm working with it and how it is actually um uh, a couple of little things that made it a little easier uh, to work with. So if um, if you, and I've already done this unfortunately, but if you have media without alt text, you can click on this button, it'll list them all here. And up in the top left, you'll see a, a button when you hover over it, it's red. And make sure of course you make a backup before you do this, but um, it will say something like a bulk editor and it will grab all of the, it'll just take whatever the product name is and add that to the alt text. So in many cases, that's just gonna be fine, but in my case, that didn't work out very well, and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute. Let me just uh, sort by 100, that's their max value. And I'll get down to here, I think I'm maybe seven pages in or something like that. Uh, so let me just jump over to seven. Yeah, do you see how this has the uh, little, um, underscore it's got like underscores and stuff like that because it's grabbing uh, from here and so it adds all of these little so it's not really ideal for me so uh, and that's really what I wanted to show you is how we can work around that and automate this process even though it's not working out of the box so how would we do that um, essentially I've got uh, three scripts I put together and you'll run them one by one in your search console so you just you know get to the page that you're working on go to your console you would open your inspect element there's just different ways to do it on mac and windows um, but i just usually right click and then inspect element and now what we're going to do is i'm going to give you three scripts the first script is uh, this one here is just going to create uh, sort of the building blocks that we're gonna work with. It's an array, but I don't wanna to get too technical. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this second. And what this is gonna do, what I found the first time I ran that was uh, while it did remove my little hyphens and underscores, it um, I didn't know which ones were actually still needed to be worked on. And as you can see now, it highlights the ones that need to be uh, worked on in red. And finally, I mean, we certainly could sit here and copy and paste and hit update. But why do that when we could just have that done for us programmatically? So we'll grab this third script and we're going to drop this in here and hit enter. And now it's taken whatever is in red, it's gonna put it right here in this uh, alt text area. After that, all we have to do is uh, just go back through our list and say, okay, this is what's in there. Now, um, for some reason, my normally you're going to see something that's much you see the whole thing but mine is zooming in for some weird reason so sorry for that but do you see how now it has whatever is red is also in the input field um, and then so you might want to massage it just a little bit and the nice thing is you can update all of these without refreshing the page so you just do it once and you can do a hundred at a time and get all of those updated. I hope this helps and uh, good luck out there. If you have any questions, of course, drop it in the chat and I'll figure out a way to get either a link in the description to this, uh, to the code. And you won't really, you won't have to modify the code because it does work with the plugin. And of course, unless the plugin makers update the, uh, the way that they name the classes in here. And I uh, hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'll talk to you all later.